You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. As always, thank you for viewing these segments featuring extraordinary CNAs from around the country. If you know a CNA hero, please share that story with me at lsweet at NACA, CNA, N-A-H-C-A, C-N-A dot org. There are many heroes to recognize during these difficult times, and we want to tell their stories. Thank you to the Winston-Salem Journal for originally publishing this fantastic story. Some people live their entire lives working a job, making a living, and never find the true passion in the work that truly feeds their soul. Some people have childhood experiences that give them the motivations for their passion, for their career. Others work different jobs supporting their families and find their passion a bit later in life. Such is the case of Rayvon Mitchell. Rayvon's jobs have included heavy equipment operator, teacher, search and rescue with the Salisbury Fire Department, 27 years with the Behavioral Health Center, and even a store detective nabbing shoplifters. A certified nursing assistant, Rayvon's worked at Novant Health Forsyth Medical Center in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for more than five years in this, his latest job. Rayvon works at the Derrick L. Davis Cancer Center, the hospital's can cancer center, and Rayvon's the first face the cancer patients see when they come for treatment. He greets them literally on the curb. He calls himself a curbside assistant. He helps them get out of the car, gets them settled in, and gets them where they need to be for their treatment. Many are weak and cannot stand. He is their strength, getting them into their wheelchairs and on their way. Rayvon is never certain what moods he will encounter when assisting patients out of the vehicles and into the cancer treatment facility. Naturally, some have anxiety with the diagnosis of cancer still echoing in their heads. Others are angry, sad, frightened, defiant, and sometimes upbeat. He's come to learn that often the feelings the patients have when he helps them out of the car are not the same ones they have when they are leaving the treatment center and he helps them back into their vehicles. Rayvon's years of experience in other areas have taught him many people skills. He's a great listener, has a great deal of patience and understanding. The patients can sense this. He never pries about diagnoses or conditions, but always listens and offers love and encouragement when patients do open up to him about their health. Rayvon lets the patients guide that relationship and what they want to share with him. Rayvon Mitchell is a man full of love, compassion, and integrity. He is a hugger and unafraid to show his feelings and love for others, even strangers. However, this virus, the pandemic, has changed all of that. He's vigilant with wearing his personal protective equipment and social distancing the best he can limiting unnecessary close contact. Although he knows he's protecting others and himself, he misses the hugs. He wanted people to know he still cared. He might not be able to hug or pat someone's arm, but Mitchell Rayvon found a way around this. He made a simple sign at home and hung it from his station 
by the front door of the cancer treatment facility. This sign says, Corona made me stop hugging you, but God knows I still love you. This simple sign has become a conversation piece, a way to connect with the patients and to continue to honor those in his own family whose lives were interrupted or even ended by cancer. Making patients feel at ease by listening or by the simple act of opening a car door has become a calling for Rayvon. The cookies, cakes, and baked goods that people bring for him is a nice perk too. Rayvon said, I'd never say I loved a job. A lot of things thrilled me. Football, he said. I was involved with arena football when I was 58 years old. That thrilled me. But this, he said of his work at the cancer center, helping patients is the best job I ever had, especially now. Ravon Mitchell, you are making a difference in the lives of so many people with your kindness and compassion. Your smile behind the mask and your gentle demeanor puts so many at ease and helps some through their darkest days. You are a positive influence for all of us to follow. Thank you for your caring and your important work. Today, we celebrate you, Rayvon Mitchell, CNA hero. Thank you.